Well, hello, my amazing artists. Welcome back to Art with me, Mrs. Knowles. We are going to be creating a really cool project today. We are using the art of Mary Blair to create a city inspired by her. So if you're not familiar with Mary Blair, she is an artist and an illustrator who is most famous for working for Disney. And she worked on a lot of the Disney movies such as Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland was another one. Um, so she's a really interesting person and she was one of the first women also to work for Disney. Um, so I'm going to show you my paper a little bit more up close and then you can follow along with me. All right. Okay, so you can see my city a little bit closer. You can tell it's a city because I've got a lot of buildings, right? So Mary Blair is famous for her cities and her designs. And if you are a student in my class, I will have just shown you some of her cities up close. If you are not familiar and you wanna go look and find some of her cities, then you can just Google Mary Blair cities and you will see some of her designs. All right, so what you're gonna need is a white piece of paper. I am using a big piece of paper because I like my paintings to be big, but if you have a small paper, that's fine. A Sharpie, some crayons, whatever colors you want, and some watercolor paints. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that I want you to do is to draw five lines coming up from the bottom of your paper. Using your Sharpie. And I want them to be different heights. So you can make some short, some tall. Let's see, I need two more, right? Some could be a little bit closer together. All right, five lines, one, two, three, four, five. So now we're just going to go to the, take the line and go over to the edge of the paper. So there's one building. Now I'm gonna bring my line up and connect it to that top part. This one can just come over, up, connect, up, connect and then I'll have to kind of make this one up. I'll do one right there. Okay, so now how many buildings do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, wow. Okay, we're gonna add some roofs onto our buildings. So the roofs go at the top, right? Mary Blair uses a lot of different shapes on her roofs. So I'm gonna try and use some different shapes. Sometimes she uses a whole bunch of triangles. So here's some triangles. What else does she use? Oh, she uses like a, a dome. It looks like a Hershey's Kiss, sort of. I'm gonna do this one just kind of coming up with different shapes. star on top of this one. Okay, so I have all my roofs now. So now what I'm gonna do is inside each building, I'm gonna start to add designs. So if we look back at my first one, you can see I have a lot of different patterns and different designs. What kind of shapes do you see? Let's see, I see a diamond. I see a lot of triangles different places. See a half circle, full circle, some lines. So a lot of different designs. Okay, so I'm gonna work on my designs. I'm gonna draw them in Sharpie. And if you need some more ideas, I made this little Mary Blair Patterns page. So if you're doing this by the video, you can stop it and look at the patterns to get some ideas. If you're in my class, I already gave you one of these papers, you lucky duck. 
All right, let's start on our patterns. That was a lot of patterns, wasn't it? Okay, so now what we're gonna do after you have your patterns on there is you're gonna pick about four or five crayon colors and you are going to color the small things on your city. So like mostly like the details that I just added. Anything that's larger, we're gonna paint it in. So let's do that right now. Now that I'm done coloring the smaller parts of my patterns in my picture, I am going to start to use my watercolors. So for the watercolors, you need water, of course, right? And then you also need your paints and you need a paintbrush. When you're holding your paintbrush, remember you should either be holding it on the little, um, the little grip there or right above the metal part. So we never hold it all the way up here because you don't have any control over what you're doing. Okay, so decide what colors that you are gonna use. I would like you to choose four or five colors. So you're not gonna use the whole thing, but just some of the things. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with some orange. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in my water and add one drop of water and then just gently stir it with my paintbrush in a circular motion. All right, I think it's ready. I'm going to start all the way over here. You have to be careful when you use watercolor because it's very watery, right? The water kind of likes to spread and do its own thing. So what I like to do is I like to paint and then leave the areas where they're right next to each other until it dries a little bit so that the colors don't just start to bleed into each other. So I'm gonna leave the other side of my triangle for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna go back and paint the other side. All right, I'm gonna keep painting, and you can see what happens. Make sure that you are washing your paintbrush when you change colors. I have some blue on my paintbrush that I wanna wash off, so I'm gonna dip it in the water, put it all the way down until it touches the bottom of the cup, and then I'm just gonna gently move it back and forth and I'm pretending like I'm sweeping the floor. Sweep, 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 sweep the floor so that your paintbrush gets nice and clean. Do you see any water spraying out of my cup? Nope, I'm being gentle and I'm keeping it inside the cup. All right, and then I'm just gonna slide it on the side of the cup so the extra water goes back in. So I am finished painting. What do you think? Is it colorful? Do you see patterns? Do you see lots of different types of lines? When we created this, we used a lot of straight lines, didn't we? Vertical, horizontal, even diagonal with the diamonds. And then a few curved lines to make my circles and my roof up here. Well, I hope you guys had fun making your own Mary Blair City. I can't wait to see them. I will see you later. Bye-bye.